December 2021. After landing in the Caribbean from a single-handed transatlantic race, I got hired to deliver a class 40 back to Europe. So I called two friends to give me a hand, and off we were, to go across the North Atlantic, in winter, with no assistance, no brain, and no head. Here is our story. Shitty day. <laughs> All good. It's all right. I got the situation. <laughs> well, but it's new native habitat. You've got a situation, yeah. Else. Mental condition. How to sleep in the heart of the storm? Look, tu prends un beau pouf rose. <laughs> tu prends le bon duvet qui est pas à toi. Organisation de l'espace. Ici, la panette du go. Rien n'est pas là. La panette du go. Ici, le pouf de Ryan. That's where Ryan sleep. All the times. Et là, my panette. Petit déjeuner. Chose, girls. Cadeau de Noël, plein de bordel au fond, des voiles, de l'eau. Et du coup, là, il y en a pour combien de temps encore de gros temps Ryan, can you explain us what's happening with the weather What's happening with the weather Yeah. That's short. Well, if, we, if we look here, ah. big scary red color. Ah, red color is not good. Red, well, depends who you ask. Ah. <laughs> If you're asking Roma? If you're asking me, the red oh. color is not really good. Red, red means go fast. <laughs> <laughs> if you're asking Ryan, <laughs> red color means, means uh, having fun. Having fun, indeed. If you're asking the sailing Frenchman, red color means good nap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how long do we have uh, for this uh, beautiful weather? Uh, we have about nine more hours. So the front passes us, and then we're left with some lovely greens, but still a big ugly swell. So won't be the most comfortable of rides either, but at least we won't have any issues of breaking it. 1460 distance to finish. 1500 to finish, and how many have we done? Uh, 2000. Ah, we've done 2,000. Yeah. Still one, 15 to do. Six and a half days to go. Six days to go. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Mama! Help me! Hugo, quand est-ce qu'on est arrivé? Aïe, aïe, aïe.
shit today. <rire> Qu'est-ce que t'as fini toi C'est de la merde cette journée. Allez, Pourquoi euh, Une heure pour chier un coup pénard. <rire> ah non, tu peux aller chier, c'est plus calme. Une heure pour vider les cales. Et maintenant ça tape dans tous les sens, putain de merde. Ah ouais. Quelle vie de merde. Bienvenue. C'est quoi ce C'est ce la plaisance. Ce... Allez. Euh... Salut Ryan. How are you today? How is your day? It's a shit day. Yes. <laughs> Why is it a shit day, Ryan? Uh, bangy. Bangy and more bangy. Why is that bangy? Because there's now four, five, maybe six different small directions, it seems like. <laughs> maybe seven. <laughs> and a good lag. And no yeah, maybe escape. six feet as well. But six feet as well, ten to twelve knots in all different directions. Just lovely sailing conditions, really. So as you can tell, the whole crew is pretty upset about the weather. But what really happened? Once a low pressure passes, it leaves a mess of different swell direction because, you know, the strong winds have been creating different swell direction. And now, instead of having, you know, 35 to 45 knots of wind, you only have 12. So the sails are flogging all over the place and it's really hard to, you know, mentally cope with this situation. Yeah, you know, a spinnaker would be like just flogging along so, yeah, fun, fun, fun. And land is just, just there. Yeah, Azores is right there, about like 20, 25 miles. 24. 24? <laughs> At the same time, if we go there, then we don't know for how long we stuck there, so there's not much point. It's just like 12 painful hours to wait. So they wouldn't be sober hours anyways. <laughs> J'avoue, c'est pas mal. Ça, c'est du style. T'imagines que tous les gens qui voient le soleil, là, sur cette terre, ben, regardent le même que nous. C'est quand même un truc. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a Est-ce le dernier croissant Alors Romain, tu fais quoi Écoute, euh, je n'ai pas. Je fais ce pourquoi j'ai été embauché. Et tu fais ça à quelle, euh, à quelle fréquence Alors, Tous les jours à peu près, à mes heures perdues. <rire> Plus honnêtement, je fais ça sous la pression du capitaine. <rire> Moi, je comprends pas pourquoi on fait ça aujourd'hui alors qu'on arrive dans trois jours, mais... mais bien sûr que si, je le comprends. C'est quand même mieux un bateau propre. Vous ne pouvez pas l'arminer. À l'occasion, je vous passerai un petit coup de polish. Alors, c'est que la deuxième fois qu'on le fait. Hein. C'est ouais. ça. C'est pas énorme, hein, en trois semaines. Je suis tout à fait d'accord. Pas trois dans 12 mètres carrés. Et est-ce que ça daube ou pas Non, là maintenant ça sent les, les lingettes au citron et le sanitol. Mais avant Non. Je non. Pas. Moi je trouve qu'on est tous des mecs plutôt propres. Des mecs du mec qui est sec, des mecs qui font attention à eux. Et à, et à ceux qui les entourent. Parce que c'est se respecter entre nous que d'être propre. Tous les trois. Et de se passer un petit coup de lingette. Entre les coups, vous l'injette de bébé là. Parce que moi aussi, il faisait ça comme ça là. Hein Quand il tournait autour du monde. Ouais, mais moi aussi, il était en solitaire, il pouvait être il s'en foutait. C'est vrai. Voilà. Et moi, j'ai pas d'eau de drap, donc euh, tout se passe bien pour moi. Voilà. On nettoie le bateau. Mathieu, on y fait attention. Ça faut que tu le sais. Romain oh ben. hey. Quel effet ça te fait On va bientôt passer sous la barre des 1000 milles. Franchement, aucun. Et ça va vachement plus vite une fois qu'on a passé et qu'il n'y a plus que trois chiffres. C'est vrai bah Ouais. Ah oui, 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 d'accord. Oui, mais comme ça, ça vrai descend que... plus vite. C'est comme une course de vélo quand on passe sous les 100 km. C'est ça. Mais j'ai pas cette sensation. Non. non. C'est vraiment, on n'est pas en vélo. <rire> Pour ça, ça se tient. Et là, là tu vas attendre, tu vas filmer jusqu'à ce qu'on passe sous les 1000 Ouais. Ok. Essaye de choper le moment. Romain a une vanne pour nous faire patienter. À mille, mille. C'est vraiment une blague d'initié. All right, it's probably a few hours before the front hits. Front or whatever low pressure we're getting later tonight. And so it's a bit of chill time, resting. We've cleaned the boat, emptied the crash box, did a quick 
uh, deck walk. Seems like we're ready. You ready, Ryan? Always ready. <laughs> Always ready. So there we have the weather forecast. Or oh, there we have Romain on watch, shaking his ass. <laughs> That's what he does. So yeah, bring in the bring in the wind. h 56 je peux me lever pour prendre mon quart. 8 h 57 je vais une rafale à 50 km. 8 h 58 j'ai peur. 8 h 59 je navigue le verre en mon quart. Right, New Year's Eve, of New course Eve. we have some wine and of course we don't have um, a core governor, a, a screwdriver for the fine bottle, so we need, we need to come up with some uh, innovative way of uh, opening these, we have a full toolbox, so let's try to make this work. I think we've got something. Oh. <laughs> Step one with the screw, a piece of line, pull it out a little, and now Ryan is coming with the wrench. The, uh, the Canadian way now. Have you ever said for the new year that you were dreaming about something for dinner made with lychee? Lychee is delicious. I didn't. Yeah? I'll try to pull it just slightly more. No pressure, Ryan, no pressure. Well, looks like we managed to open the bottle somehow. So, boys, Cheers. 2021. Cheers. 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 
Well, from what I can taste, it's okay. Yeah. Oma, what are you up to? Look at those power thighs. I, need, I take two parts for this. Yeah. Really? Because it's so, a slip, please, guys. Okay. <laughs> if I'm not back in five minutes, wait longer. Okay. Okay, Roma. <laughs> Here we go, guys. <laughs> it's gonna be the best shit of 2021 for him. That's for sure. <laughs> Right, 2022 is much more sunny than it was 2021, it's a good thing. And also the swell finally came down a little bit and we're gonna put the first spinnaker of 2022 on 1st of January, which is really good. Happy to be back on the helm! Happy to be back! Oh. Oh. Not so much? <laughs> How much do you like packing the spinnaker? 100%! So, so much! I feel we're close to 100%! night in the spinnaker and now the wind is starting to pick up the 30s so we're gonna play it safe the boys getting ready for a smooth night kite drop and I'll sit on the uh, on the bow right. pull the sail down okay that means I'm gonna get you on the, the halyard are you yeah Please. at the mast you're gonna be easing. I can build a deck light rather, I'll just use the head torch. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pulling. because it's around the J2. Get the bucket down to the level of the J2. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll take the J2 down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just try and stay as deep as you can. Yep. Is it coming down at all? Grab right at the top where the J2 starts. Look, look, it's starting to unwrap a bit. Can you grab the foot? What's that? Can you grab the foot now and pull on the foot? It is starting to come and down. Take up on the new line. Yep. Yeah, that should be enough to end with you. Alright, let's go before it goes on to the J1. Unhook the, unhook the J2. Okay, 
All right, lovely, lovely final day in the Bay of Biscay. Uh, last low pressure, 170 miles to arrive. Fun, fun, fun. Good. We don't see on camera, but it's also starting to be like really cold, like all mid layer possible zone. <laughs> I really think it's time to arrive. The guys are starting to mix ravioli with Chinese <laughs> pasta, which like makes no sense. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's time we get to land because like none of this makes sense anymore. Here we go, we have uh, Ryan, the dolphin whisperer, who called all his friends. So the dolphins are escorting us since like an hour yeah. into La Trinité. And they speak Canadian as well. Speak Canadian, uh, Portuguese, <laughs> you know, got the ties on. Good show for us. Look over there! Land! And you don't see anything. Len Ho, Ryan! We made it! Is that 15 days? I think it's 15 days. Uh, 14. No, it's 18. 15. That's 2, 10, 18, 19, 12, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's. Uh, okay, it's 17 or 18 days. I'll put the. I'll put the. You know, I'll. We'll make counts properly. But this means that I haven't beat my days. own record. <laughs> Belil is here. We have one more drive, two more drive, and we'll be. 3,800 uh, miles in Not too, not too bad, and it was really well without pushing it. So I'm in really delivery mode. I haven't broke too much shit. That's so. good. Just like that, finish this 18 days crossing of the North Atlantic. It's funny how all the hard times, the lack of comfort and sleep and bad food, just vanishes as soon as you had a beer and a slice of pizza. It's hard to understand it if you haven't experienced it. And as Eric Tabarly said, Naviguer, c'est accepter les contraintes que l'on a choisi. C'est un privilège. La plupart des humains subissent les obligations que la vie leur a imposées. 